Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'll let you go away if you take me with you. Don't you know? Um, today is a very special occasion. Um, it is the first uh, uh, salon uh, by uh, uh, Club of Rome, uh, the German chapter, together with the BMW Foundation um, and the Arts and Nature Social Club. And this year, the Club of Rome is celebrating 50 years of the Limits of Growth uh, Report. The BMW Foundation is also 50 years old since last year. Uh, it's been always concerned about societal uh, challenges and transformation. Change finance and, and finance change, a rather broad topic, but we've decided to look at two angles mainly. The one angle will be looking at regulatory frameworks and the other angle looking at uh, the transformation angle, what is really necessary in order to uh, address all the various challenges uh, that we are facing. Finance is... Uh is organized not in a system way. It's extremely linear, not circular. What in itself is quite a problem for the economy and for achieving sustainability goals. It's even more linear than the real economy, what it should support. What is the difference between the rich and the poor in the world? Because the rich have assets, asset inflation will make them even richer the poorer people get poorer and poorer, and that will create new issues, environmentally and socially. But I think that it's incredibly important that banks become what we could call today part of the commons. That is not only private, not only public, but in between, and serving the real economy. Because we all know that banks tend to privatize gains and socialize losses. 90% of all businesses come, you know, are generated by young entrepreneurs and they are not treated appropriately by the finance system, by the society. And this is what integral investing actually means, is the integration between for-profit and not-for-profit. Complex society collapse when the society itself is no longer able to finance the increasing complexity of the society, the increasing sectors of the society. It's no, and this is exactly what we're doing right now. We are in the middle of a, a situation where we keep printing money in order to finance the expenses that we have. So we are basically in a society that is collapsing. I can tell you where from my perspective, hope comes in. And that is from the law of accelerated returns. Our planet says, no, stop. So if we want to have an impact, we need to have that impact and remain within the operating system of the planet. Uh, if we want to uh, have a sustainable economy, we need to uh, install it and to update, to transform the interfaces, the infrastructures with which we uh, deal with our natural environment as humanity. And that means uh, we have to address the real assets, the Sachwerte, the infrastructures, the ecosystems, the soil. What we did forget in the 20th century where we were talking about growth was that this growth was based on extraction, based on robbery, uh, based on the exploitation of natural resources, of, of material resources and energetic resources, and also of the ecological resilience of our planet Earth. So externalization of benefits means we have to rebuild, the de uh, uh, to regenerate the degradations of the past, and we have to rebuild the planetary biocapacity everywhere on our planet Earth. Capitalism is based on the over prioritization of financial, cap financial capital against natural capital and social capital. Uh, you found out that these global banks had about 30% of the balance sheet invested in the real economy. The rest was in financial markets. And uh, with these banks, more grassroots banks, I would say, it was 70% was invested in the real economy. There are various studies that basically confirm that uh, green companies or companies focused on the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, are more resilient. You see quite a lot of things happening now, the European Green Deal, 
the green taxonomy, it's all a signal that things are becoming mainstream. With the blockchain, with distributed ledger technology, we can overcome that conflict and we can establish a, a stakeholder-driven economy, what is really pluralistic, what is highly innovative. I've never been worried also in the bank about technology. What I'm really worried about is governance around it. And I think many people who are very fond of technology forget about the governance. And then you run into big, big problems. We have to come to a real true cost accounting and to overcome sustainability reporting and pseudo good impact reporting. Yet particularly social issues cannot always be fixed in numbers. The quality of life for people is very hard to put a number on it. I think we all have to step out of to try to compete against each other. We have to step out of working against and trying to be the best, trying to be number one. And collaboration for me is really the, the key words tonight. Sky, so vast is the sky, with far away clouds just wandering by. Where? Well.